Okay, guys, my friend Rob stopped by. He brought us some uh, incredibly wonderful goodies. This is an M1 tunnel ram for a small block Chrysler. It's completely stock, but it's been coated. It's beautiful. And he also brought us some 360J heads that are actually in pretty good shape. That we took a quick look at the guides and the seats and so forth. And we flowed it completely stock. And then we put the M1 on it and we're going to flow it. We do have a little bit of an alignment issue. If you look all the way down, see if you guys can see down there. little bit of an alignment issue. I don't know if I can fix that up. I'm going to try before we before we finish flowing it. In reality, this is our second take. So this is how much of the flow work we've already done. So we're just going to finish it up and I'm going to uh, sail a string in there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to see if I can fix that alignment. I'm going to do 600 again. If 600 comes up, uh, a noticeable amount. I'll redo the whole thing. Go. the way they did the shape of that opening it's almost like almost a triangular shape and you can see you can see the airflow coming in towards the larger part is really slowed down quite a bit and then the runner the runner tapers nicely this will make this will make a lot of power when it's set up right I have no doubt all right let's take it we're gonna take a second I'm gonna show you the pluses and minuses and we're gonna talk about it Okay, so this is what we've got. Cylinder head, tunnel ram. Here's our pluses and minuses. Minus, plus, plus, equals, minus, 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 minus. But take a look at how little it lost. To be honest, I've never had a manifold on the bench that lost this little. And you have to remember, it still has a slight bit of misalignment on it. As far as the swirl, the stock head had very, very low swirl until 400. It really didn't change a whole lot. It's still very, very low until 500. 500. Yeah. Right? That's when she starts to go across. It's skipping over the short side radius, and you get some nice swirl then. So, Rob, I asked Rob, I said, what do you think this is going to flow? What did Rob say? Rob said it might flow more. Absolutely, because we have a nice big open area, a nice straight shot to the runner. But what I didn't think about was the port misalignment. Yeah, wasn't thinking that. So of course, over, overall, <laughs> I think I think it's an excellent tunnel ram design. Uh, really, and not that I'm a tunnel ram expert, I'm not. But uh, as a matter of fact, this is the first tunnel ram that's been on this bench. But it's a really nice piece with a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of work. I mean, if you take a look yeah, inside the plenum, yeah, let's take a do look that. At, take a look at the beautiful radius job they did on this. Everything is radius beautifully. And one of the things that I liked about it is that there's a really a generous amount of room between as it goes through from one side to the oh, other. Yeah. Yeah, there is a open. lot. Completely open. And when we were flowing it, you could still feel plenty of air coming through the other side. It would have been better if we had some carbs. But if we put two 600 CFM carbs on it, we're only going to lose a couple CFM. Please shine down the port so everybody could see the misalignment. 
Yeah, we did. I did move it a little bit. Yeah, we did try a little adjustment, but you could see, you know, a little still, bit, maybe even a lot touch. of it on the bottom. But yep. you know, this is just hanging on the bolts on the head, and what we really have is, you know, a little bit on the side, nothing on the top, but that bottom is that's that's a big wall. Still pretty good though. I mean, really. I think so. Yeah. I think it worked out really well. All right. I think uh, I think we're gonna call it quits on this right now. We're gonna go grab some lunch, and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Food. <laughs> which, Yeehaw. Which is not good for us. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. All right, guys. Until Thanks next time. <laughs>